Hi, I'm Stavros. Good morning and welcome to Coot Hall in County Roscommon in Ireland. So a bit of a different video today to show you. I'll be giving you a tour of this fabulous Broom 42 boat, which was built in the UK in 2006. So, and here to help me today is my nephew, Aaron. <laughs> He's going to be helping me um, just show you all the features of this boat and how it operates and also the interior features, which there are a host of extras going with this boat and it's finished to a very high standard uh, built by Broom. So let's get to it. I'm joined now by Tim Murray, who's in charge of the sale of this fabulous Broom 42. So, Tim. Indeed, indeed. If, if people want to contact you, it's murraymarine.ie. It's murraymarine.ie. And yeah. uh, it's with great pleasure I, I have mm. the opportunity to offer a boat like this for sale. Not often we have something of the yeah. quality and class of a boat like this. Like. Mm. Uh, this is an ideal boat for the River Shannon, yeah. but its home would be uh, in the Mediterranean. Yeah. Uh, but luckily enough, its uh, draft is quite suitable for using it here on the Shannon. So mm -hmm. it's been used uh, on, a, on a regular basis mm. here. But the engines have low work on them, low hours. Very, very little hours. This boat is mm. in as new condition. Uh, mm. uh, uh, the, 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 the last two previous owners happened well we would say maybe used it to its full capacity right right but right. Uh, it's yeah. uh but any time they have they have enjoyed yeah. it immensely mm. but as you say tim um it's it's a broom it's a broom 42 so it's not it, okay it's not the biggest boat in in the shannon but it is very good for well it is it's in uh, for uh, size wise it, and getting through locks it's, and it's ideal for operation because mm. the, with the twin engines and 370 horsepower either side it's yeah. a very suitable boat for uh, <laughs> maneuverability. That's very 740 so. horsepower. That's 740, yeah. yes. So so it's capable, Tim, of how many knots would you think? Oh, it would do uh, 15 or 20 knots, no mm. bother, like, you know. Yeah. Well, and hopefully uh, we can... Uh, I'd imagine <laughs> you could near, near enough ski behind it. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll certainly get the engines up to speed, but I don't know whether we'll be getting 20 knots today. Well, I don't know if you'd be uh, advisable <laughs> to get it today or not, though, but... But uh, we see how you go yeah. on here. So that's fantastic, Tim. Uh, if anybody wants to if anybody inquire wants about to the have boat, a, the inquiry mm. boat, or wants to know get any more further mm. information, just look at my website. It's yeah. moneymarine.ie again, and they can come and speak to myself. Great, and that's Tim Murray. Tim, thank you very much. You're welcome. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> so just taking a look down the length of the boat, this Broom Forty Two. We have an automatic anchor here, which is raised and lowered by those two buttons. And as you can see, the decking all around the boat, which you can walk the whole area around the boat, is finished in laminate. So it never needs to be re-coated in varnish. It just stays at this finish for years. And it still looks fantastic, even though it's 10 years old. And we have our port side opening here. Very handy for handing in all your groceries. And that fabulous interior. And we are connected to offshore power here. So no need to use the generator when you're connected to offshore power. And we have our water tank fill cap there. And this winch for the dinghy is fully automatic. So you can raise and lower the dinghy all by buttons. And this complete top canopy area is fully electrical. 
and can be raised and lowered by the touch of a button. And we have our satellite up on top. And that is the fabulous Broom 42 from the outside. Time now to go inside and show you all the features it has. Just down in the galley area here, plenty of space and seating and we have our wooden floor finished in a very high standard and all of our kitchen area and this is the lounge area here so Aaron is just going to show us here where the dehumidifier is that's the dehumidifier and we have our stereo also inside here our 6 CD changer here and we can also operate the Ray Marine system here the CTEL system and now the television Aaron it pops up here doesn't it from the it's just going to switch that switch there so very handy to have this television where it can be stowed out of the way when it's not in use and underneath we have our skybox and DVD player very nice features we, al we also have our, a night heater as well uh, very nice feature to have keep you nice and cozy and warm and the fuse box Aaron is in behind this system here so you've got all your operating controls here which can be switched off when not in use and we have our engine switches here and domestic power as well so very good feature to have so plenty of seating up here for five six seven people and this seat was also an extra that was featured on this boat and this particular area here Aaron this um, handrail was extra also and up on the roof as well all those wooden strips were an extra feature and we have all our, our blinds which are all operated by a string so we move down to the kitchen area and we have our fridge here yeah plenty of storage in all these cabinets here absolutely loads of storage underneath this sink also and we have a full size microwave full-size microwave oven and our hob also and we'll be having our coffee later <laughs> and we also have a load of functions here one is for the winch one is for the generator this one here Aaron is for gas is it gas control yeah for the yeah. hob Oh, for the hub, okay. And here's your water meter here. Very handy to know how much water you have in the tank. And up here then we have controls for charge controls. Here beside the kitchen area we have our toilet with the added shower. And as you can see it's finished very nicely and we have storage in behind those mirrors as well and we also have our blinds on the window and this toilet can be accessed both through, through that door and also from the front bedroom which is handy yeah so that is the toilet and this front bedroom iron can be folded right down into a double bed I, I believe so yeah and we have our skylight and plenty of storage all around here and storage on this side as well and our small little windows at each side so we'll make our way over to the main bedroom now because the main bedroom is very spacious and make our way down Oh yes, we also have our washing machine, of course, and storage up on top. Now, Aaron, I'll just get into that bedroom. 
so this is the main bedroom now this is very spacious and Aaron you're over six foot so you can stand up fully <laughs> yeah uh, so we've plenty of windows in here so nice airy bedroom and loads of storage absolutely loads of storage here we have our switches for our toilets our radio and our 12 volt sockets and some lighting in the main bedroom we have a separate toilet and shower so this is your toilet with the same cabinets in behind those mirrors and a nice window and that is your toilet for the main bedroom and have our television also and over on the port side we have our separate shower so that is the shower and you have your storage in here which has its glass cover so very nicely finished this broom 42 so much storage in this main bedroom and when we're out cruising the Shannon I'll show you what it looks like out through these windows which is quite nice to see also so Tim has just uncovered the engine bay here just to give you a look at the engines so Tim they are a D6 370 two Volvo Pentas D yeah. D6 370s mm -hmm. diesels so quite a big engine Tim <laughs> <laughs> two very big engines yeah so Aaron is just going to show us the panda generator which is situated underneath the floor and the engine bay as you can see is very well insulated so that is the panda generator the engines can also be accessed through these steps down to the main bedroom I'm just going to make my way now to the deck just to show you all the controls before we set out to Carrick on Shannon for a cruise on the River Shannon. So I'll start by showing you the interior here. That is the deck, quite comprehensive and a lot of controls. Aaron will be navigating us down the River Shannon today <laughs> and we have, we'll start with all these gauges here. So. You have all these gauges on the port side represent the left side engine and all of these gauges on the right side represent the starboard side engine. We have our compass, we have our speedometer here, measured in knots, not miles per hour, <laughs> and we have our depth meter here. And we have controls here, lights and instruments, and this one here, Aaron, that's for the bow thruster. The bow thruster is a very handy feature to have on a boat because it moves the front of the boat left or right and it's very handy for parking and positioning the boat. So it's a very important feature to have on a boat. And we have a very nice wood steering wheel here. And over here, Aaron, we have our stereo controls. Stereo controls, yeah. engine management. System. Engine management. You have your two gear sticks, two for, one for each engine. Yeah. And you have your autopilot system autopilot system so each engine is represented by its own handle so you push that forward engine forward reverse and they can be operated independently which is very good and we have our light switches and window wiper switches here and we have our satellite navigation which is a fantastic feature showing you all around Ireland and the UK and we have our this is for the Coast Guard Aaron is it yeah, that's your BHF radio. Yeah. You can also communicate between boats who have the same system. You just tune into their channel. And this is a remote control for the bow th thruster as well. So you can switch that and operate it outside if you wish. So that is the top deck. And of course it's all finished in grey. And you're probably wondering why isn't it finished in white like the rest. This is to stop reflection on the windscreen and these are where the gas cylinders are situated here on the top deck underneath the seat and that is your foldable table
So the engines are now warmed up and we're ready to set out on our way to Carrigan Shannon. So let's go. See you later, Tim. So we've now left Cood Hall and we're on our way to Carrigan Shannon and Aaron is at the helm. <laughs> so Aaron, what is it like to drive this boat? Very slow, <laughs> for now anyway. Until we get out onto the big lake and put the boot down. So our depth gauge is now reading 5.4 feet and we're going at nearly four and a half knots. So quite a reasonable pace around this area here. So it's quite nice here in the main bedroom, just looking at all of the water passing by out through the back window. So we're just waiting now for this boat to pass us and then we'll put the hammer down and see how many knots we can get up on these Volvo Penta engines. Okay, Aaron, let's go for it. Two engines. Okay, Aaron, what speed are we up to? We're just... We're just gone beyond 23 knots! <laughs> so there you have it, 23 knots we got today out of this twin Volvo Penta D6 engines, 740 horsepower. So a very powerful boat and performs very, very well. So we'll just show you our progress. We came into the big lake here where we put the hammer down, around the lake, down here, we turned right. That's where we are. And we're making our way in towards Carrick and Shannon. This boat also comes with a Raymarine autopilot function. So just like cruise control on a car, it will keep the engines at a certain speed and keep you cruising along and it will also keep the boat in a straight line as well. A fantastic feature. Autopilot. So we have now arrived at Carrick and Shannon, County Leitrim. If you're ever thinking of hiring a boat up here in Carrick and Shannon, why not check out Carrick Craft? These are all their boats lined up here, ready for hire. So we're just going to turn around here at Carrick and Shannon and make our way back to Coote Hall. Plenty of activity today here outside Carrick and Shannon. There is the bridge. And we're just turning around now, making our way back to Coote Hall. Plenty of people out here today enjoying the nice calm weather we have. 
and Aaron has the canopy open here maneuvering this boat around <laughs> So Aaron's just going to demonstrate now the folding down roof mechanism here. A fantastic feature to have for going under bridges. And good for your suntan as well. <laughs> of course you can also hire boats from Emerald Star which are very nice and spacious also. Oh, yeah. So you'll notice all along the River Shannon you have these red and green markers which you have to keep in between. So we have the red one on our left and the green marker on our right. Very important to keep in between these markers because you never know what you're going to hit just under the surface of the water if you go beyond them. So very important thing on the River Shannon. So we have now made our way back to Coot Hall. What a very nice spin that was into Carrick and Shannon. So we'll just get our berth now and get parked up. And that's it, we're now back in Coot Hall, all tied up and ready to set on our way home. What a fantastic cruise we had today in this Broom 42, Arigna Valley 2. Uh, absolutely fantastic boat and finished to a very high standard from Broom. And those Volvo Penta D6 engines, absolute power off them, up to 23 knots. And Aaron, what did you say 23 knots was in miles per hour? Just under 27 miles per hour we got out of this boat and given the weight of the boat, it's quite heavy. Between 8 and 9 tonne, Aaron, isn't it? I think it's over 10. Yeah, oh, it could be over 10 tonne. So, very good power from it. So that's where I'm going to leave you for today. Thank you all very much for watching. A bit of a different video to my normal car videos, but I hope you enjoyed it. And that's where I'm going to leave you. And Next weekend, normal service will be resumed. Plenty of cars to show you. So until then, take care and thanks for watching. <laughs> Cheers.
Thank <laughs> you.